let's talk about the stages that go through an ACL tear healing. And typically how about how much time it takes to, for them to recover. So the three stages that are is acute, regenerative and remodel. So the acute stage is of course, just when the injury happened up to about 72 to 78 hours after it happens. This is when the injury happens, the body goes into its mode of protection, the swelling happens on the leg, they, they, they look like they can't put the weight down on it and because the injury just happened. It's one of the most important times to get your red light onto the animal so that way you can continue to to get the, the recovery to happen faster. The second phase is after the 72 to, you know, about, a, I always say half a week to a week, you go into the regenerative stage. The regenerative stage is when, now that you've had a break, it's starting to lay fibroblasts back down and you're, you have to have energy flowing through the area, you have to have blood flow flowing through the area. Now when I say flowing, it means outside of it that carries nutrients to the outside that allows fibroblasts to be laid down onto the ligament itself. Now remember there is three types of collagens in the body. One is the ligaments, one is the tendon, and one is or, uh, cartilage itself. So we're talking ligaments which is from bone to bone, not bone to muscle. All right, so this is a ligament that's in the front of the leg that is keeping bone to bone together. So during the regenerative, regenerative stage, it's very, very tender. They can re-injure themselves. And this is where it gets to, gets to be a longer time where they can actually injure the opposite leg because they are carrying too much weight on one versus the other and it's very common for it to happen. And then the third one, is the remodeling stage and this usually happens anywhere from three to six months after the injury and this is where they you, you start uh, laying down the scar tissue and you start to the scar tissue starts to lengthen and it go, the, the, the ligament starts to work again so in these three stages it's important that we're red lighting for one in the acute stage that we move from the acute to regenerative very fast because we want to lay down that fibroblast as fast as we can and when we get into that stage we want that to start to heal so let's talk about that a little bit so if you look at a ligament themselves they're nothing more than a bunch of tissues that are coming together and they're held together um, from one overlapping to another one. A tear happens is when those tissues release, those fibers release, and now you have a tear so that this part and this part are not attached to each other anymore. Still attached to bone, but the middle's not, not working right. So when you start to get the fibroblast laid down, it starts to lay these feather type, um, um, type of um, strings back together here that will bring, but they're very, very easily to come apart. Okay, they're very tender. This is that first, in normal states, anywhere from one month to three months worth of time. The next stage is then it kind of makes scar tissue and it's like putting your fingers together and like you used to do, like here's a steeple type thing. So this is where now there's a big bump and you'll actually be able to feel it, but it keeps it stronger so that the leg can start working, but it's still not gonna work right because it's not smooth. And then during the remodeling, it lays out the scar tissue and now becomes binded again so that the leg can start to work correctly. So those are the three things. So you have the tear, the tissues where they're coming back together, to where it goes into scar tissue, to where it lays down. Typically, that would be anywhere from six months to a year's worth of time. We have found with the light therapy that we can reduce this down from anywhere from three to six months. And, it's, and because you're having to confine the animal, especially in the first two stages, it's very difficult to um, do that. So because the minute they go out and he runs after a squirrel again, he's probably gonna, gonna hurt, that injury, hurt that leg again or possibly the opposite leg. So what we wanna do is we wanna empower you to be able to do this and do this protocol so that you can help yourself and the animal to get out of their injury. We're gonna do an overall of where the locations are and I'm just gonna go through these because we're gonna do close-ups of the ACL tear points and you're going to be doing these points every other to every third day 
as it states in the booklet. So the first one we're gonna be looking for is large intestine 16. So your doctor will just run your thumb down until it hits the bone. You're gonna apply the light on low, on this type, because it's the gold light in this case. Mm -hmm. 